Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to 13th episode of 100 Poets Around the Globe for Love. Again, many, many thanks to all of you who have been supporting this groundbreaking initiative that aims to connect the leading poets of the world in one platform from different corners. And many thanks to all of the poets who joined passionately, supported this beautiful initiative in this difficult time for us to spread the hunting verses of poetry while people are immersed in a bit of depression. Thanks to all of our audiences who are watching, leaving wonderful feedbacks, wonderful suggestions, and sharing the stream for your friends to make sure they can watch it, they can find their own solaces through this hunting hypnotic verses of poetry in this difficult time. So ladies and gentlemen, this is streaming live from Gronti page. Uh, it will be going live from our own profile pages as well. Uh, the panelists and poets uh, will share it. And uh, please do share if you like it. So if you like it, if you find it beneficial for you, it is beneficial or it will be beneficial for your friends as well. So let me perhaps share this uh, for myself so that so that the audiences can share from my page. Uh, so this is available in my page. So please do share from, from my page and the editor of Grunty's page, profile page as well. As you know, the Grunty is one of the leading platforms of global literature uh, but predominantly South Asian literature based in, in the UK. Uh, it was about 30 years ago, it was quite Bangladesh centric platform that used to promote the beauty of experimental literature, new voices, accommodate new voices through regular publications of, of the Gronti literary uh, uh, supplement or literary. Uh, Little Mag, uh, and we took it as a as a Little Mag movement 30 years, almost sort of 30 years ago. So it is shaping as quite a global platform. Um, from last year, we started International Poetry Festival here in London, and we are um, so grateful that the poets from all around the UK uh, joined, supported this festival, and this year, this festival used to uh, take place in some prestigious venues that include Oxford University and some prestigious venues based in London. So because of this COVID, we are missing the live sessions, but I'm sure we will, uh, or we can do, uh, we can continue with this festival soon, as soon as uh, this COVID is over, and then we can invite all the poets who joined, perhaps uh, as part of this session, uh, live uh, here in London, and we can listen to them face to face, listen to their poetry, their art history face to face. So many, many, many thanks to all of the supporters of Gronti, all of the contributors of the Gronti. Uh, let me introduce. Today's panelist, as you know, this happens every Saturday, um, uh, and then this is the 13th episode. So we managed to talk and interact with almost 60 poets so far from different corners, different, from different languages, to different corners of the world, from, and different countries of the world. So uh, each session, it features five poets, and today we are proud to have five wonderful poets joined from different countries uh, of the globe. 
But let me uh, introduce the editor of the Granthi, uh, Shamim Shahan. Um, a warm welcome to uh, Shamim Shahan, and many thanks for joining today as well. Uh, you, you are unmuted at this moment, if you can't leave. Uh, good evening. Today is the 13th day of 100 poets around the world for love as part of the Gonti Facebook Live series. I cordially welcome poet H.S. Shiva Pokash, poet Daniel uh, Traskovic, poet Ashok Dev, poet Shanket Mitro, and poet Shakira Parvin. Poet, friend, and my brother, Tim Ahmed Kaisar, has already introduced about Gronti initiative. The Gronti is one of the plat top platform for South Asian literature, philosophy, and sociology in Britain. We start with a bunch of friends at the beginning at early 1990s. That was purely Bangladesh centric. Now it is becoming quite global platform. The people we invite to the platform have created their own location from their respective places. It may be poetry, stories, article, novels, or criticism. From the beginning of the gland to the present day, everyone is going the work on their own. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to those friends who was the Gronti. The Gronti has been able to conquer the country and create a unique platform in the world. The series that we have started on this Facebook live is being watched from all over the world. Greeting and love to all who are watching this show today. Thanks to everyone, including one of our team members, Shain Mithul. Thank you. Many, many thanks, Shamim Shahan. Uh, we have uh, Shahin Mithul, a regular panelist uh, and part and parcel of this initiative, who is a spoken word artist uh, and a concert organizer. Many thanks, Mithul, for joining and a warm welcome today. Very much. I'd like to cordially welcome all the distinguished poets today in this session. Thank you. So let me also introduce our uh, <clears throat> poets. So Dani Jala, many, many thanks Dani Jala for joining um, uh, and a warm welcome to today's session. Can you hear us Dani Jala? Hello Dani Jala, can you hear us? Jala. There is a the message from her. She can't hear us at all. I can't hear what you're talking. Uh, Dani Jala, perhaps you need to, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we, we heard you, we, we, we managed to listen to you. Actually, we managed to hear you when, when you joined. But something happened perhaps. He's not on mute. Uh, I don't think he's on mute. She's on mute already. Right. Uh, you can perhaps send him a message. So, Mithul, um, if you kindly send him a message, and if he can join, rejoin, and uh, that would be great. Uh, so, Dani Jala is a Serbian poet. Uh, we will try. No sound. I can't hear either. Or should the um, so best thing actually, uh, if if you if you join via earphone, kindly kindly take it off. Uh, perhaps this this causes problems sometimes. Uh, anyway, ask her to read her poems. Uh, Dani Jala. Hello, Dani Jala. Yay, many thanks. Many thanks. We can hear you can now. Can you hear me well? No, you, are you, can you hear me now? I, I can't hear you. Uh, can uh, you hear me now? When you... No. When, when you speak, I can hear you. Uh, this is a bit uh, strange. Uh, I'm sure I'm everyone... to read her poems. Can I read my poems? I, I will come back to you, Daniela. I'll come back to you. 
I'll come, let me introduce everyone, then I'll come back to you. So Danijala is a Serbian poet. Uh, Shivaji Hates, Shiva Shuttu Prakashji, a warm welcome to today's session. Uh, and many thanks for joining. Namaste to you. Uh, Shivaji, you are on mute at this moment, if you can't unmute. I can't hear you. Shivaji, can you hear me? So best thing, Danijala, if you can't hear me, best thing to uh, open your uh, mobile and try to listen to me uh, from your mobile live streaming. But this will, again, this will be a bit of time gap. This is a Anyway, many thanks, Shivaji, for joining. Uh, Sanket Mahatrai, a, a wonderful Marathi uh, poet based in India. Many, many thanks uh, for joining. And Thank a warm you. welcome. Can you hear me, Sankar? Yes, I can I can hear you. Do you want me to okay. join? Sorry? Yeah, so I can absolutely hear you guys and it's just wonderful. Oh, great, great. So, so uh, problem with Danijela and Shivaji, can you hear me? Shivaji, you are still uh, mute. Can you unmute your? Yeah, yeah, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, I can hear very clearly. Okay, great. Thank you for joining. We have a wonderful poet who joined from uh, Bangladesh, Shakira Parvin Shuma. Many thanks, Shakira, for joining as part of the series, and a warm welcome to today's session. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we are missing, we are still missing Oshuk Dev. I'm not sure what happened to uh, Oshuk Dev. Uh, let us start reading poems now, perhaps, and then we'll see whether uh, Oshuk Dev can join in the meantime. So, uh, Mithul, if you kindly read a, a, a bit of introduction on uh, Dani Jala, we'll start from Dani Jala today. Sure. Give me a second. I'll get to. Danijela Trotskovic is a Serbian poet, short story writer, translator, and reviewer. She holds an MA in English Language and Literature. Danijela's book of poetry in translation, 22 Wagons, was published by Estok Academia, Siberia. She translates poems by contemporary Siberian poets into English. The idea of translating Siberian poets came from the fact that although Siberian literature has existed for eight centuries, many of the great Siberian poets and writers remain unknown to the Anglophone world. Danijela believes that Siberian poetry has its place in the top of world's poetry and certainly deserves to be paid attention more by the world. Her work has been translated into Russian, Spanish, Romanian, Arabic, English, Bulgarian, Czech, Slovakian, Macedonian, and published in journals, newspapers, and anthologies worldwide. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mithul. Uh, Danijela, can you hear me now? Perhaps you are following live streaming, so that will that will be a bit of gap between the time I say and the time you listen. Unfortunately, we have to wait now until it reaches you, Danijela. Uh, I'm not sure why it happened. Uh, when it started, everything was okay. <clears throat> Danijela, a bit of strange session today, looks like. Uh, uh, technically, hello, Danijela, can you hear me? No. Danijela, can, uh, can you hear me? Danijela? I'm here, but I. Don't understand the word. I just hear some scratches. I'm trying, trying to enter here, but uh, I don't know. 
Right, okay. I don't know how to do it. And so, uh, have we got EF on by any chance? There is no reason why. How did it go to, how did you, how did it go to, how did you, uh, how did it go to, how did it come to Zoom? Danijela, how did you come to Zoom? Right. How did I come to Zoom? Yeah, so Through can you browser. hear me now? It looks like you are you are um, hearing me now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Right, okay. And we, we, we gave your introduction. So if you kindly read about three or four points. Okay, to read my points, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, I read the first poem. Beba, it's for my daughter, my daughter Beba. I'll take you, Beba, to the planet where the sun kissed you for the first time. When you taste the blue salt again, see the healthy breathing of white birds, hear the music of olives and avocados, while the nymphs squeeze the oil, feel oranges in bloom, caressing you like you were a bee. Touch away the chumps on your leg, licking you like your dog. Then you will wish to take root as a couch grass. Okay, that was the first poem. Uh, three poems. Yeah, yeah, you can read about four actually. Three poems, okay. There is no corona here. Tonight, the moon is yellow as a pumpkin for Christmas Eve. Apple, plum, pear, fig, cherry trees, all overloaded with fruit this year. I tell my brother it's because of Corona. The Lord helps us to survive. My brother nods while with paternal care waters his gladioli in the garden behind the house and marvels like any father, how quickly his children grew up. I go to the cellar to place the bottles of walnut liquor, black as the devil, crouched next to the Zdrepčeva Krv, its semi-sweet red wine made in Serbia, who keeps repeating as if praying, there is no corona here, there is no corona here, there is no corona here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the red wine you mentioned? The third the point, the jungle. Wine? Jungle. Can you can you hear me well? We can hear you. We can hear you. But are you hearing us well? Okay. The third one, jungle. Black thorns grow on my skin. I have to go back to India to see the wise men. He's at the spot of my arrival and points to the path of the jungle. I follow him. The jungle eats thorns. I'm naked, naked in front of the wise man. He takes a sari out of his bag and dresses me. The jungle is seductive like you, he says. Be a jungle for him. Show him that he is the king of the jungle, but nobody without it. Is it enough? You can read another one. Or should I read more? One, one more. One more. Okay. Three act death. Act one. My childhood love killed in war. Act two. My two year old son most likely has autism. Act three. You. Stopped loving me. Great. Okay. Many, many thanks, Tanijela. So this is a bit of trouble, actually. Uh, listening to you is a bliss. But again, we can't interact with you. That is a problem. I'm not sure whether you can listen us. You can hear us. We can hear you right. But we need to ask you some questions. This is a very engaging session. We'd like to know why poetry, for an example, some sort of uh, we need to find out the poet's journey. 
uh, but I, I don't think it is possible uh, in this case uh, for you because you can't hear me tonight. Uh, we'll come back to you, Danijela. Uh, our next poet is Hazes Shiva Shottoprakashji. But Mithul, in the meantime, if you kindly uh, read some audience's feedback, and also if you kindly read a short introduction on Shiva Ji. Sure. Khaled Hussain, this sort of initiative enriches us. Congratulations to all poets. Shahid Kais, Ashuktep. Mm, okay. It's, it's uh, I think um, Shahid Kais is trying to say Ashuktep has messaged him that he can't hear. So I, if um, Shahan Bhai can address this, that would be great. Nishat Sharmin Shanta, greetings for all. Hope to enjoy a memorable session with poetry. Geoffrey Shetu, wow, hello everybody. Good evening and congratulations to you all. Hope it will be an amazing session. I'm here. Sumit Ashfaq, very nice poem. Aisha Jona, it's a good event so that we can hear different voices and echoes around the world. Nice to see you all. Um, then, Marlon Frick, congratulations from Texas. Mohammed Musharraf Hussain, it is really different. Thanks to all poets. Bonani Chakraborty, wish you all a very enjoyable experience. Nishat Sharmin Shanta, very nice, Danijela. It was really a nice poem. Indeed, indeed it was. It is. Uh, um, these poems are really engaging and uh, riveting read. So anyway, uh, if you kindly uh, read a short introduction on Shivaji uh, Metu, let me can move on to his reading. Sure. S.H. Shiva Prakash is a leading poet and playwright writing in Kanawa. He is a professor of the School of Arts and Aesthetics, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. Is the head of the Cultural Center at Berlin, known as the Tagore Center, run by Indian Council for Cultural Relations. He has seven anthologies of poems, 12 plays, and several other books to his credit. His works have been widely translated into English, French, Italian, Spanish, German, Polish, Hindi, Malayalam, Marathi, Tamil, and Telugu. His plays have been performed in Kanara, Hindi, Rabha, Assamese, Bodo, Tamil, and Malayalam. Shiva Prakash is a well-known authority on Vachana literature, Bhakti movements of India, and Sufi and other mystic traditions. Thank you. Wow, well, Shivaji, that is something that I uh, I am personally looking forward to. We curate uh, some wonderful festivals here in London. That is called uh, Baul and Vaishnav Music Festival. We try to fuse Sufi music with uh, Baul music. And then it has been running for the last six years here in London with a significant number of uh, audiences from non-Indian background, um, quite purely white audiences. Uh, when it started, we had a number of stereotypes because this, this music is quite lyrics based. If you organize the Indian classical music festival, that is easier because Ravi Shankarji took and this music into a high that people can easily enjoy from all different backgrounds. Instrumental music can easily be enjoyed by anyone. But uh, uh, when it started, it has a different kind of stereotypes, but uh, quite fortunately, we managed to have about 50 or 60 percent purely white audiences, and they appreciate, uh, especially the Vaishnav tradition, the music of Vaishnav tradition, usually. Yeah, and I'm sure I have read some of your poems and that reflects your your uh, significant journey through this path. And I'm sure our audiences can explore you uh, with a different light. Uh, so if you kindly read about three or four poems, and if you kindly tell us, because this is important for us and our audiences as well, to find out a bit more uh, about poet's journey, poet's own journey, for its own bloodshedding journey into poetry. So if you can tell us why poetry, why poetry and you know what role poetry does play in your life. 
it's a very difficult question to answer because I never very consciously. Whenever I reach a point where I can't, when I can't express something through any other means than poetry, I break into poetry. I don't write it consciously, but poetry comes to me sometimes. And uh, it comes, when it comes, it comes like a flood or else it dries up. So that's all I can say. So the, the, the poet's journey can best be described through his own poems. So I'll first read a poem uh, which has a Sufi content because you're talking about Sufism. And this is a poem about Shams Tabriz. And uh, this poem I've read all over the world. And it's, um, uh, I'm sure you people know the story of how uh, Shams Tabriz, who was uh, Rumi's uh, master and also his divine beloved, was murdered by Rumi's own uh, uh, relatives. They were jealous of Rumi's um, intimacy with him. And then uh, he was murdered and uh, he flayed his uh, skin. And uh, the legend goes that Rumi wore his flayed skin and he started dancing around in ecstasy, which led to the, the dance as a media of communion among Sufis. He founded this. Uh, Melville, the order of Sufis who commune through this gyrating dance. So it was in this state of ecstasy that he wrote his poem, uh, Shams Tabriz. So this is a monologue which was supposed to be spoken by Rumi after the murder of his ma master, uh, Shams Tabriz. All the rose gardens have turned into slaughterhouses today. Another lover has been murdered in the tavern today. From every bunch of grapes, in every vineyard, oozes not wine, but blood, only blood. Shamsabri is your blood. Tell me, Saki, where is the road to Mecca? Where have dried up? The living waters of Zamzam, nightmare stock Konya. You know, Konya is a place in Turkey where uh, Rumi spent, uh, was born. Nightmare stock Konya, the plunder of Kaaba, the fight of the Quran from the leprous world, the battalions of lions pouring in from jungles, cities and villages reduced to heaps of bones, and the stink of corpses. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, what are we but pawns on your chessboard? What are we but flutes from your notes to blow through? For, but, but loops for your notes to blow through. But flags flapping in your invisible wing. Now, when another mother's breast is cut off, Another baby is smashed to the ground. Where is the sword, the gift of Mustafa, the sword of peace? Stop your prayers, brothers. Tell me first where they murdered my beloved, where they buried the sons of his eyes, and the picture of his heart overflowing with the honey of poetry. You worldlings, calling Rumi mad, your share of hell still remains. My share of paradise is lost forever. The paradise that shone in Shams' eyes. He was a husband to me. He the infant who put his lips to my breast and lent tongue to my silent dreams. Beside him was Mecca. Next to him was Medina. And in him dwelt Mustafa too. Where was gender in our love? Where were bodies in our love? His who guide wanderers through the desert to the fresh water springs. Come, wherever you are, dig up for me the bits of Shams's flesh. Here alone remains some wine. Here alone remains some meat. Here alone remains some poetry. Thank you.
Wonderful. And I think this has been a long poem. I think that's for the first round. I think this poem is enough. You can ask Hi. others to read. Uh, read shorter poems, more shorter poems later. Please do. Shivaji, uh, you can you can read another. Shivaji, can you hear me? You can yeah, read can another. Hear, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can read. Read a short, short, short one now. Yeah, please do. Okay. When the prison becomes a garden. When the prison becomes a garden, the iron bars turn into stems of plants and trees. The prisoner's endless size turn into cooling breeze. The eyes that gaze wistfully are the sun and the moon rising and setting from behind the prison bars, now turn into stars to join the native galaxies. The sunken and dried up tears become dewdrops, little jewels adorning flowers. The Struck terror in the hearts of brutal rapists and murderers turned into a body tree beneath which the worst from fantasy meditates and attains enlightenment. But says no to Nirvana, but says no to Nirvana as at that moment he has a vision of all the jail faces. He fragments his body into a million bits, each one of which becomes a bodhisattva and goes to free one and all. At the beginning of this new kalpa, both the hangman and the hand become somber slaying orchestras at dawn and dusk to judges, jailers, and guards, now reborn as innocent children and their guiltless parents. Even I, who doubted, who this could ever happen to me here and now, I'm convinced after you placed in my hands the unexpected boon of fruits in my unprepared hands to let me touch, smell, and taste them. Thank you. Thank you. Many thanks, Shivaji, for your own interpretation uh, about poetry, a very insightful interpretation, and then reading these beautiful, beautiful poems. Uh, our next poet is Shakira Parvin Shoma. If you, uh, Mithul, if you kindly read a brief introduction on her, and uh, also, uh, would you like to read some audience's feedback or would like to read afterwards? Uh, Mithul, if you are, you are on mute, uh, if you kindly unmute. I can read some feedback, that's fine. Okay. Um, Marlon Fick, thank you, Danijela Traskovic. Nishat Sharmin uh, Shanta, Danijela, your reciting is beautiful as well as your poems. Shobhi Kneshakar, best wishes. Mushtaq Deen, Dekchi, Bhalo Lache. Shahed Kais, um, it's a wonderful session. Congratulations, friend Ashok Dev, Akira Parvin Shuma, and all the other poets from, the, from different countries. Best wishes to you all. Then Nishat Sharmin Shanta, marvelous Salam Shiva Prakashji. Many, many thanks, Mithul. Uh, some of uh, some of the feedback we we keep receiving from uh, some wonderful poets who have been featured as part of the series: Shobhi Kesharkar, Mostak Din, uh, Shahid Kais. Many, many thanks for your wonderful feedback. We're still missing Oshok Dev. Uh, we will see, um, perhaps this is a technical glitch. This is a problem with this new normality. 
we're trying to cope with the new normality and uh, trying to cope with these technical glitches as well. So please pardon us. Uh, uh, so Mithil, if you kindly read a, a brief introduction on Shakira Parveen. Yeah. Shakira Parveen, one of the notable young poets of Bangladesh, was born in Shamnagar Shakira on July 8, 1977. She is working as a producer for one of the leading private channels in Bangladesh. Alongside that, she is teaching film and media at Stamford University. Shakira also runs a poetry organization called Poetry Platform with her friend poets, Zubair Tabassim and Shenaz Nasrin. Her published books are Amile Shapnodatra, Sham Nagore Radha, Brishtir Matlami, Noon Shoto, Chini Shoto, Premen Kobita, etc. She received a Pagod Shahitu Puroshka in 2002 for her first manuscript, Amile Shapnodatra. In addition to that, in 2014, Shakira received the Kali Okolum Torun Kobi Puroshkar for her book, Brishti Matlami. Thank you. Bah, Shakira, congratulations on your achievements. Congratulations on your uh, journey in literature. But quite uh, fortunately, uh, uh, I found something that is quite similar uh, to me. I have a keen interest in film, uh, especially the world cinema. Uh, uh, I think I think poets should be uh, the uh, filmmakers uh, of this century. Poets are, uh, most of the poets, uh, uh, somehow the filmmakers who are connected with poetry, they are the successful filmmaker in last century. So I think we have to carry on with this great artistry. Uh, uh, Shakira, if you kindly read uh, some, some of, uh, about three or four of your poems. And if you kindly tell us uh, the, same, the answer for the same question that I asked uh, uh, Dr. Bhagashti as well. Kubita uh, Kano. Onik Dhunnabad, many, many thanks. I am uh, expressing my deep gratitude to uh, all the force and the organizers and first from different countries and different corners of the world. And um, it's a very wonderful session, I, I, I hope. And I'm trying to recite some of my poems. And uh, pardon me, I'm very, very, very weak in English. So I am in Bangla, I am in Kovita Gulu Pote Chachi. And I'm in the beginning of Bangla Bhashar Adi Nidoshun. She can take a duto line uh, uh, recite Kore, She Shop Kobe their case for the Janata Chachi, a after Bishop Appy's session to Hochi, She session from Georgia Pod. Adi Kali Batir and Hela Tadek Tekan Ho Bibola Vila. कान हो कहा गए करीबानी बस जवान गोर तो चली काली बाती रंधेला तादेखे कान हो बीवोला भैला इतना हमार सुधा क्या पूर्ण शेषों বড় কর্তাদের জন্য সেই সব কবিদের জন্য যাদের কারণে আমি আমার ভাষা বাংলা ভাষা পেয়েছি এবং সেই ভাষায় আমি লিখতে পারছি আমি খুব ছোট ছোট চার পাঁচটি কবিতা করছি প্রথম কবিতা কফিন আমি জানি না এখানে কয়জন যারা আছেন তারা সবাই বাংলা বোঝেন কিনা সংকেত মাহাত্রে আপনি কি বাংলা বুঝতে পারেন না না মনে হয় না এখানে uh, but thik ache banglate amra mane we have to promote the beauty of different languages so uh, even though it is different bengali please do not hesitate do not hesitate to talk no no I, I don't have any hesitation thank you so very much and especially shivaji as senior professor and whatever i mean i mean to anyway i'm kobita korchi 
আমি বগলা বুঝেছি বাহ বাহ বগলা কে বলবো অনেক ধন্যবাদ স্যার আপনাকে কফিন আমার প্রথম কবিতা দুটি কফিন আনন্দ বিহারে বর্ষা এলেই মিয়া কি মালহারে ভিজে যাচ্ছে নাকি যায় না বোঝা আনন্দ গীত বিরহতেই খোঁজা নাকি চৈতের খরায় পুড়ছে ওরা সবাই দেখছে ধ্বংস মিশ্রিম জোড়া দ্বিতীয় কবিতা একদল শামুক লজ্জা আনত চোখে যাত্রা শুরু করেছে পৃথিবীর গ্রাম থেকে গ্রামে তাদের প্রত্যেকের হাতে ঠান্ডা মৃয়মান প্রবীণ লন্ঠন তৃতীয় কবিতা কপ্পুর বরঞ্চ সাজানপুরেই রেখে দিও দূরে গেলে সঙ্গ প্রত্যাশার লোভ পড়ে থাকবে কফিনে তাকিয়ে থাকবে লোভাতুর কপ্পুর তাছাড়া শেষ জানা যায় খুঁজতে পারে গ্রামের লোকজন এমন কি খুটিয়ে খুটিয়ে দেখতে চাইবে বেদনার নাকুল দুঃখের বাটখারা চতুর্থ কবিতা ডোম খুলে দেখবার মতো কোন শরীর ছিল না আজ তাই বহুদিন পড়ে থাকা বেয়রেশ কুকুরটাকে টেবিলে বসাই পরম যত্নে ও হৃৎপিণ্ড খুলে দেখি একটি মায়াবি ঝিনু তার আর অভ্যন্তরে ক্রন্দন রত দুটো মুক্ত দানা পরের কবিতা সরলতা ধান কাটার পর খুলে উঠেছিল পৃথিবীর পেট বিস্তীর্ণ বিরান মাঠ ধারালো ধানের গোছ ওই মাঠেই হাঁটতে চেয়েছিলে অথচ নিকটেই অপেক্ষা করেছিল সরল সবুজ কলা পাতা শেষ কবিতা দোকানদার তুমি ফুলের দোকানদার হলে কিছুটা ধৈর্য তোমাকে ধরতে হবে ধরো যে কোনো ধরনের ক্রেতাই আসতে পারে মানুষ পিপিলিকা প্রজাপতি মৌমাছি প্রত্যেকের উদ্দেশ্যই ফুল কেনা কেউ কেউ হয়তো এপিটাফে বনন করতে চায় বেগুনি গোলাপ তার ক্ষুদ্রতম করি কেউ জানতে চাইতে পারে দাম পিয়ানো অথবা পিস্তলের অচেনা কুড়ির কাটায় তুমি তাকে রক্তাক্ত করো না লক্ষ্য রাখবে যেন ফিরে না যায় কোনো পরিযায়ী বরঞ্চ হাসি মুখে অপেক্ষাকৃত সস্তায় বিক্রি করো উপহার কিছুটা ব্যবসায়িক ক্ষতি হলে হোক ফুলের দোকানদার হলে কিছুটা ক্ষতি তোমায় সয়ে নিতেই হবে ধন্যবাদ শুরুতেই সাকিরা ওয়াজ সিঙ্গিং ফ্রম দিয়েন্ট ম্যানুস্ক্রিপ্ট বেঙ্গলি এটার যে মানে সুরটা এই সুরটা মানে কোথায় পাওয়া এটা মানে একটু যদি সুরের জায়গাটা একটু বলেন আপনার আপনি কার কাছ থেকে শিখলেন এই সুরটা কি মানে আমাদেরকে এনসিয়েন্ট অনেকগুলো ফর্ম নিয়ে কাজ করতে হতো বাংলা সাহিত্যের আমরা যেটা বলছি যে টু থাউ দুশো বছরের ইতিহাস হিস্ট্রি উই হ্যাভ উই হ্যাভ রামায়ণ উই হ্যাভ মহাভারত উই হ্যাভ শ্রীকৃষ্ণ কীর্তন বন বিবির পালা পাঁচালি এই সমস্ত যে ফোক ফর্ম গুলো আছে যে সব গীতিকা গুলো আছে সেগুলোকেও আমাদের পড়ানো হতো আমাদেরকে বলা হয়েছে আমাদেরকে শেখানো হয়েছে অ্যান্ড আওয়ার টিচার ডক্টর সেলিম আলদিন হ্যাজ প্রুভ দ্যাট দোজ আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইনস্টেন্ট ফর্ম অফ ড্রামা এনিওয়ে তো সেখানে শ্রীকৃষ্ণ কীর্তন আমাদের একটা পারফরমেন্সের সময় 
আমারই একজন শিক্ষক ডক্টর আফসার আহমেদ তিনি সুর দিয়েছিলেন এই কীর্তনের এবং আমরা এই সকল পদাবলী কীর্তন শ্রীকৃষ্ণ কীর্তন মহাভারত এগুলোর থেকে বিভিন্ন অংশ থেকে নিয়ে আমরা বিভিন্ন সময় পারফর্ম করেছি যিনি সন্তান উৎপন্ন করেন সেটাও একটা কবিতা যিনি ধান চাষ করেন সেটাও একটা কবিতা যিনি প্রতিদিন অফিসে যান ফিরে আসেন আবার অফিসে যান আবার ফিরে আসেন সেটাও একটা কবিতা যিনি রিক্সা চালান প্রতিদিন ত্রিং ত্রিং বাঁচতে থাকে ঘাম মুসতে থাকেন সেটাও একটা কবিতা হয়তো আমরা সেখান থেকে কিছুটা অংশ তুলে আনার চেষ্টা করি আমাদের মতো করে একটু আগে শিবাজি সামসাদ তাবিজ তাবিজ থেকে পড়লেন এবং সেখানে রুমির প্রসঙ্গ টানলেন যে কিভাবে তাদের সমন্বয়টা হয়েছিল সেই তাদের তাদের পথ ধরে সূত্র ধরে আমরা আসলে একটা সুরের মধ্যে একটা ভাবের মধ্যে একটা গীতলতার মধ্যে দিয়ে আবহমান কাল ধরে প্রবাহিত হচ্ছি আর সেখানে চারপাশের বেদনাগুলো অস্থিরতাগুলো পৃথিবীর যে কষ্টগুলো ধান খেতের যে কষ্ট বাতাসের যে কষ্ট নদীর যে কষ্ট মানুষের যে কষ্ট সেই কষ্টগুলো হয়তো আমরা যারা তথা কথিত কবি বলে নিজেদেরকে প্রমাণ করার চেষ্টা করছি তারা হয়তো সেগুলোকে আর একটু বেশি করে তুলে ধরতে চাই কিন্তু সকলেই তার মতো করেই করছেন শিক্ষক তার মতো করে করছেন সঙ্গীতজ্ঞ তার মতো করে করছেন চলচ্চিত্রকার তার মতো করে করছেন তো এটাই আসলে আমার কাছে কবিতার বিষয় থেকে আমি এর একটুকুই বলতে পারি ধন্যবাদ Uh, so many thanks, Shakira. We'll come back to you uh, again. Uh, our next poet is Sanket Matrai. Uh, Mithul, if you kindly read a brief introduction on Sanket. Sanket Mahatre is a well-known bilingual poet writing in English and Marathi. He has curated crossover poems, a multilingual poetry recitation session, that unifies poets from different languages on a single platform. Apart from this, Sanket Mahatre has been invited to read at Kala Goda Arts Festival, Poets Translating Poets, Goa Arts and Literature Festival, Jaipur Literature Festival, Vagdevi Lit Fest, and Akhil Bharatiya Marathi Shahitu Tamil. Besides curation and recitation, Sanket Mahatre has also created Kavita Cafe, a YouTube channel that combines cinematic vision and visual poetry. Sanket Mahatre, now working in a marketing position at a leading multinational company, started writing poems when he was just 12. Today, he is an award-winning lyricist and has turned his dream of uniting poets from different languages into reality. Thank you. So, uh, Sanket, this is quite a, a bit of coincidence, I think. Look, everyone is connected to music quite significantly. Uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely. And, and, and nice to discover that you are, you are a lyricist as well. <laughs> and, and, and if that is possible, we can, um, uh, that would be great if you kindly uh, offer some sort of examples of your lyrics. Uh, uh, best if you can do it in singing, but <laughs> even if it is not, uh, please, so first uh, of all, please share some examples. Uh, so many, many, many thanks, Sanket, for joining as part of the series. Um, Mithul, before we move on to poetry, would like to read some audience's feedback, just to make sure that we are not forgetting uh, uh, the audiences who are watching and leaving some inspiring feedbacks, actually. Yeah, give me a second. Muhammad Ataula, Shabai ki shagoto janoi. Devinder Bansal, great. Piroz Shah, best wishes to all. Nishat Sharmin Shanta, 
want to hear more from Shiva Prakashji, Amit Shiktar, Anunno Shundar Shakira Parvin Nam, um, Chunchi, um, then Samit Ashfaq, Astonish to hear your voice, ma'am. Thank you. Right. Thank you. So, Sanket, let us start with the question again. Why poetry is so important to you? Uh, uh, thank you so much for asking this question, actually. Uh, for me, when everything else, when all your world systems fail, it's actually poetry that kind of comes to the rescue. And it's actually poets who kind of save the world. Uh, so for me, poetry is not just uh, an expression of words. It is basically a translation of your culture. Uh, it is basically an understanding of your own life. And it's basically making sense of who you are as a human being in this part of the cosmos. So I think poetry, uh, uh, more than just being a voice for the disenfranchised, uh, it is more to understand where do you stand in the grand scheme of things. And at the same time, Poetry is an assertion that you now understand the beauty of existence. It now is an assertion that you understand the beauty of life. Uh, I believe that as a poet, it is my foremost duty to tell people what it really means to live your life. Uh, and that, uh, I think, is the greatest endeavor that a poet can always have. So uh, uh, words take you to a place where no other, you know, where no other medium can really take you. And that's exactly what poetry does. It takes you to that, to those corners of your heart. It takes you to those corners of your mind and your subconscious uh, that that you may never seem to enter. Uh, and that's the reason why I, I feel uh, that poets are truly blessed individuals who kind of have understood what it what does it mean to live. Uh, and poetry is an assertion that you are finally alive in this world. Thank you. Thank you for this. <laughs> Beautiful and insightful. Uh, <laughs> so first of all, thank you so much for including me in this in this beautiful lineup. Uh, Shakira, ma'am, you have a beautiful voice uh, and I was truly enamored uh, because I do curate a lot of poets uh, who belong to multiple languages. Uh, this is something that I've been saying uh, for a long time uh, that you might not know some other language, but the entire idea of the, of the language is to not just know it, but to feel it. So thank you for, for making me feel your language uh, and you know giving me a window to your world. Uh, what I'll be reading today uh, is one poem in Marathi, which was translated by Rochelle Porter, uh, followed by two poems in English. Uh, and uh, you can hear, hear this. Thank you so much for including Marathi as a language uh, in, this beautiful, in this beautiful poetry evening. So my first... My first poem is basically about poets. Uh, and what I do believe is if we see the trees outside, uh, you know, there are so many trees which are surrounding us or, or which are a part of our ecosystem. And for me, every, every tree is a poet. So my poem contextualizes that. I will, I will read the Marathi poem first, followed by the English translation of it. He's had a cone ahead. खरतर प्रत्येक झाड एक कवि आहे ज्यांची माणसांच्या लिपीतली कविता आता पूर्ण झाली आहे ज्यांना बोलायचंय शब्दांशिवाय थेट ब्रह्मांडाशी लिहायचंय हिरव्या अक्षरावलीने जगण्याचा पर्व पृथ्वीच्या पाठीवर कृत्रिम निळाशाही ऐवजी मातीच्या लाल जर्ग शाईने त्यांना तळही गाठायचंय आणि उंचीही मोजायची आहे एकाच वेळ ऐकायचंय गाणं चिमण्यांचं आणि झुलायचंय मनमुराद केव्हाही वाऱ्याच्या झोक्यावर त्यांना कुठल्याच अर्थाची ओढ नाही कुठल्याही सत्तेला प्रश्न नाही विचारायची किंवा उत्तर शोधायची नाहीत कोपऱ्यांमध्ये दडलेली त्यांची गतकाळाची तपस्या आता अद्वैताकडे अशा कवींचं झाड झालंय ह्या झाडांकडे बघितलं की कळत आपलं साहित्य लायब्ररीमध्ये नाहीच अरण्यांमध्ये निसर्गानं जपून ठेवलंय आता आपणही पुस्तकांची भाषा सोडून झाडांची भाषा शिकूया पुस्तकांऐवजी झाडच वाचूया कारण आपलाही शब्द जन्म संपल्यावर ह्या दोन जन्मांमधला हिरवा जन्म एका गर्द डोंगरावर आपली वाट पाहत असेल एवढं नक्की आपली वाट पाहत असेल एवढं नक्की द ट्रान्सलेशन फॉर दिस इज ऍज फॉलोज हु आर दीज ट्रीज 
Every tree in actuality is a poet in whom humanity's disclosure has now ended, for whom verbalized words have exhausted, rewritten in the era of existence. In green lettering beyond the earth's shoulders, dipping into the red clay of mud, instead of ersat indigo ink, who want to reel across the sky and in the same instance measure the ground's zenith, who listen to the song of sparrows and lull whimsy to the melody of gusts. They don't possess a curious attraction to connotations. They don't want to question establishments or search answers tessellated in any corners. Their eternal penance is headed straight for ultimate termina. Poets who have now birth as trees. You look at the leafage and realize literature and language were not in libraries but shelved by nature into forests. Now we too shall leave behind the jargon of textbooks and learn instead the prose of trees or translate trees instead of books. For even after Kalokai, life is over. In between these two lives, a green birthing is awaiting us in thickly timbered hills. This much is undeniable. Thank you. Thank you, Sanket. And Shakira, uh, perhaps you'll be glad to see the reflection of your own words. Every tree in actuality is a poet. That's what you said, Sanket. Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. So, right. Uh, I mean, the whole universe is, in another way, in a, is engaged in writing poetry. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, my second poem uh, is basically about the city, and we have been witnessing the whole pandemic. Uh, and every time when when I kind of open my doors and windows, I see a lot of ambulances and a lot of sirens. So. This is about my personal account of what really is happening in my city. Um, the poem is known as A City Full of Silence. At full volume, sending a shockwave through this lazy vacuum. As if the city has been suddenly diagnosed with stage 3C cancer. And all of us who matter to her, slum dwellers, Uber rich, middle class, upper class, outcasts, pimps, and city planners. Were late by a minimum of six months. We shut down. No octogenarian ruins were. A bit of she has a history. Now water levels are rising. Her stomach below There's no glass inside. No psychology was collected. So everyone blows the Sanket is having a bit of trouble in IP voice projection. Sanket, can you hear me? In new normality, this is perhaps a very repeated question we, we always ask. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I almost like, like a crazy. It's becoming quite crazily seeded in new life, actually. Uh, so can you, I'm, I'm saying again, can you hear me, Sankar? Hello, um, I can hear you guys. Can yeah, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, yeah, well, so in this new normality, we are perhaps repeatedly, this is becoming almost like a norm, asking repeatedly, can you hear me, can you hear me? So good thing that you are hearing me now again. Yeah, perhaps you were broken. Uh, yeah. If you kindly finish, um, yeah. we can hear you yeah. now. Yes. 
Now water levels are rising. Her stomach bloats with one spell of monsoon, and those and there's no mental biopsy in sight. No cytology report collected. So everyone's figuring out which part of her abdomen could be punctured to release this flow. Not knowing, we had all forgotten to close the tap long ago. The city has kept a lot in her womb for far too long. Regret and debris, garbage and a festering wound. What she needs now is in saline and drips, but a memory from the books of sunshine, an embrace from salt lines and mangroves, the reassurance of leafy smiles stretching into infinity, somebody holding her hand somewhere. She deserves a Sunday with a beginning, middle, and end, an unclogging of her mind with forests of her childhood, ultimate forgiving for all traffic jams, under construction sites, incorrect sadbara, and rivers declared as gutters. A forehead filled with kisses, not goodbyes. She needs hope in her veins and laughter under her tissue. Maybe a joke from the past would do. Before she sent for chemotherapy. Before she sent for chemotherapy. Many thanks, Sanket. Uh, I will. We will come back to you again. And many thanks for reading these beautiful verses, uh, and especially the Marathi language. So poetic. Uh, this platform aims to promote the beauty of different languages as well. So we have, uh, we, we managed to have uh, many, many languages that include Spanish, uh, uh, mostly English, Portuguese, um, uh, Hindi, Urdu, Bengali. So, uh, and uh, it's, it's wonderful uh, to have Marathi as part of the series. So beautifully read, and uh, uh, beautifully expressed. And many thanks with many thanks for this English translation as well. Uh, we managed to have Oshok there eventually, but I'm not sure that you are hearing us. Ladies and gentlemen, those who are watching, please pardon us for being crazy, for being crazily uh, repeatedly saying the same thing, perhaps. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Or some sort of uh, repeated questions we are asking. Uh, please, please, please forgive us. Uh, Oshok Dev, can you hear me? Unfortunately, your audio is off. So if you kindly get your audio on. Apnar audio ta, audio ta apnar off dekha chhe. I mean, system is active, but audio ta is not tuned on. Ekhon apni jodi ek to audio ta ke ek to mani tune on kore. Eita shombo ke na apni audio ta ka sign dekhte baat chhe na. Bang audio sign ta the tick dilay ho to click kore ya apna. Ha, oh, good la, great. It looks like connecting to audio. Many thanks. Wow, great. Eventually. We managed to have a wonderful Bengali poet based in India, Oshok Dev. It looks like he's connecting to this platform through audio connection, right? Okay. Uh, Mithul, if you kindly read a brief introduction on Oshok Dev. And by this time, I'm sure he will, he will be connected to Sure. Born in 1969, poet Ashok Dev started his literary endeavor in the 90s. He has five collections of poems, two collections of short stories, and one novel published as mm -hmm. far from mm -hmm. Tripura. He is popular among all Bengali re readers across the country and abroad. He is known for his subtle way of putting words together and mystic way of storytelling. Some of his works were published in Indian literature, the Journal of Shahitra Academy. Some of his most noteworthy publications are Mumir Katkati, Bicycle Boyish, Chaya Shangi, um, Atta Puriborjan, Shada Puran. Shada Puran was awarded Shapun Shen Gupta Sriti Puroshkar by Nondi Mukhtukashuni. Thank you. Thank you, Oshak uh, uh, Still, it says connecting to audio. So it must have some 
glitches, technical glitch again. Can you hear me? Uh, unfortunately, we don't. Oshukda uh, Bapnar, Apnar connect it in this system at the Kadlo connecting to audio. I mean, Janina, it's a straight way hovered, but it should happen quite straight way. Uh, if you kindly get your get your uh, earphone off. It is the Shambu who have an earphone off for a two volts and up audio. Abner earphone to offer it to the Jukta We can hear you now. Great. Many thanks. Many thanks. Abner Namta made to Tik Kurini. Abner Namache Galaxy, but I'm sure you know. Abner made to Tik Kurini. I'm not yet to mute for the Abner Mobile. I'm ready for the Bullshit. I am. One thing you need to do, uh, if you don't mind, if you kindly share this live streaming uh, in your timeline uh, for us to connect audiences uh, and followers of you. And then, after mobile, the yet a decapillum, it will be to mobile. It got on the Shuntabashi. If you would live streaming, they won't have a one quarter decades that it if you kindly mute uh, your mobile. Abni Shuntabach and Gina? Shuntabachi. Abni Shuntabach and Gina? Abni don't talk out of a person. Abnake. এত অন্ধকারে রাখা যাবেই না আপনি অন্ধকার হয়ে গেছেন মনে হচ্ছে আপনি হ্যাঁ এই দেখতে পাচ্ছি বাহ কি আবার ফ্যান্টাস্টিক আপনারা এখন কবিতা শুনতে চাই একটু অনে মানে এত এত কাটখোর পড়ানোর পরে আমরা যুক্ত হতে পারলাম যেহেতু সুতরাং কবিতা দিয়ে শুরু হোক অশোক গুড ইভিনিং আই এম অশোক দে फ्रॉम ত্রিপুরা ইন্ডিয়া from the northeastern uh, state of Tripura, it is one of the smallest states in India, and I write in ba uh, Bangla, so I will write, I will uh, read two poems uh, in Bangla, and then uh, afterwards I will uh, read some of my poems in English. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry uh, that I am not that much. Uh, that that easy. No, 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 no. It don't do you know what I'm saying? It's technical. It's technical. It's a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it. It's a lot of people who are not going to যে এমন যদি হতো যে বলতে পারতাম এসবের কিছুই জানি না তো আপনি তাহলে ভালো হবে কিছু নেই হ্যালো তা थैंक यू আমাকে আপনারা দেখেছেন এখানে আমি এখানে পড়তে পারছি আমার বাংলা কবিতা নর্থ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া থেকে তো এখানে এই কবিতাটা হচ্ছে অদ্বৈত দ্বৈতবাদ এই যে ডগমগ রোদ এই যে মেঘেদের সংসার এই ফুলটি এই যে শুয়ে আছে বেড়াল এই যে পুরনো চটি ফুল অবসাদ ছবি সত্য সামান্য মিথ্যা মাখানো এই যে জন্মান্ধ পথে পথে ফেরি করে গান এই যে আকাশের দিকে কে যেন উড়িয়ে দিল সন্তা এই যে আমাকে একা পেয়ে বারবার কে যেন চাকু মেরেছে মারছে বুকে সবই মিথ্যা very philosophically exuberant poetry. Many thanks. How beautiful is that? Hmm. Arikti Kochi, Bai Shetil, Duhajasho. Oji Digonte Udito Hutchen Amir Hush. Bangar Pachin Briko. বিস্তার করেছে গজলাঙ্গের ছায়া সেই ছায়ায় বসে আমাদের পূর্ব পুরুষেরা পরস্পরের বুকের সুরা পান করে গেছেন এখনো কোন কোন সুরবিদ্ধ মানুষ হাহাকারে ডুব দিয়ে এসে 
সেখানে বসেন তাদের বিদেশি তুংটাং শোনেন এই দুটো আমি বাংলা পড়লাম একদমই ছুঁয়ে গেলেন এখন আমি পরে আবার পড়ব আবার আর একটু শুনি অন্যদের হ্যাঁ ঠিক আছে আমরা উই উই আর গোয়িং ব্যাক টু ম্যানি থ্যাংকস অশোক উইল কাম ব্যাক টু ইউ ডেফিনেটলি আওয়ার নেক্সট পয়েন্ট ইজ अगेन দানিচালা সো দানিচালা ক্যান ইউ হিয়ার মি এন্ড আই এম ফিলিং এমবারেসড টু আস্ক ইউ দিস সেম কোশ্চেন দানিচালা ক্যান ইউ হিয়ার মি ক্যান ইউ হিয়ার মি Danijela this is your turn and for some reasons uh hello danijela is it possible to text you let me see whether i can text you danijela this is your turn this is your turn is very tough to be honest very tough uh, when you talk but uh, uh, the voice can't respond very 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 tough uh, danijela if you i'm checking if you can hear me hello Danijela can you hear me? Yeah, can you can me you unmute yourself? If you can't unmute yourself. Uh, you're muted at this moment if you don't. Okay, great. So if you read your if you read your rest of the point kindly. I can hear you. Right, okay. Listening on my mobile. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you kindly read the um, rest of the points now. Yes, yes. I'm using my mobile to hear. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next poem is Muses. Yes, yes. I'm using my mobile to hear. <laughs> Muses. All of my muses die sooner or later. They get infected with some strange sickness by the poems and I watch them living to be reborn in life of some other women who don't infect the verses in whose eyes there is no universe no gardens in their souls no innocent witches at the stake no unhappy madame bovary Okay the next one Oh, wait a little. <laughs> okay. Sad. Sad is a warm blanket that your father covers you with. It smells of cocolino softener of the incensory from which you take a breath. Of deity's forgiveness. You are laid on the bed in a big chamber together with another covered children. but some of them their fathers did not cover why in the heads of those fathers sabs grow where the children of snakes grow flourishing and long live pain the time passes like the train that disappears in the glance of the station the pain for you grows stronger the sun clouds the moon rain fog snow they're all the same the pain gets stronger it has already strengthened so much that my bones strengthen with it 
my heart, my wing, the most soul. And the last one, home. Summer stone leaks all our attempts to build a home. We can drain to show us where foundations are. We pull roots out, collect brown leaves for the cellar, oranges for walls, yellow birds for windows. We are eternal tenants, wait for winter, it's fire scar. And winter is late as the trains in Serbia. Our feet are bare. Our bodies are cold, asphalt, two skies. Winter is our mother, old woman, slow walk. She has no choice but to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Danijela. How unfortunate this is that we are missing. We are missing uh, to make an interaction interact you and get your feedback and especially your, your past poem you mentioned about one of my favorite writer Flaubert's uh, Madame Bovary and I'm making a, a, an Indian musical classical musical interpretation of Madame Bovary uh, uh, it would be great if I could if I could make a, a perhaps a good uh, interaction with you, but unfortunately, unfortunately for this technical glitch, I'm not sure why you, you know why you can't. We can hear you, but you can't listen to us. Some uh, it must be some problem at your end, actually. Uh, uh, perhaps we'll talk afterwards. Uh, uh, Dani um, when you listen, perhaps the whole live streaming, I, I'm keenly interested in uh, your view on Madame Bovary, actually, um, and and the poetry, the transitions you are doing, the phenomenal works you are doing at this moment. We'll talk afterwards anyway. Uh, many, many thanks for your uh, reading uh, these beautiful poems. Uh, our next poet is Shivaji, Shiva Shottaprakashji. Uh, but in the meantime, Mithul, if you kindly read some audience's feedback. Thank you. Sure. Shupa Sadia Shatiaji, Nishat Charmin Shanta, Shakira Parvin Shuma Shurta Apurvo, um, Ali Kalia Amra Abushon Shurajani, Kabe Etao Kushundur, Abna Kovita Guru Choto Holeo, Gobhirota Onik, Malo Legacy. Um, Aniwa Mahatre, all the best to all. Junan Nashit, watching, all the best to all. Samit Ashwak, all the best, Sar Sanket Mahatre. Rosanna Kamarena, hello, dear friends. Um, hello, Rosanna. Rosanna is a, is a beautiful Mexican poet and a friend. Many thanks, Rosanna, for watching. Then Nishat Sharmin Shanta has a request. Shankirji, can you please allow us to listen? to one of your lyrics as a recitation. Exactly, exactly. That is my, that was my request as well, uh, Sanket. So, so perhaps uh, when we'll come back to you, please uh, prepare one of your lyrics. <laughs> um, I, I wish I could say that, um, you know, that, that my voice could be as, as mellifluous as Shakira, ma'am, but uh, uh, I really can't sing for the love of God. <laughs> I, I don't yeah. want to sing. At least some in, of the in, the, in, in, in the meantime, Shonket, I am, I am a, a very big, big fan. I am not a singer. You have to consider me as well. I am not a singer. Please, pardon. Great. Oh uh, thank you. Um, um, so, Shonket, we'll come back to you. We'll discuss. We'll see uh, <laughs> how we can settle this time, how we can re reconcile this anyway. Uh, um, Shivaji, if you kindly read some more poems first, and I'm not sure whether you'll be interested in talking, especially in this platform, because it's purely poetry-based platform. But Vaishnavism is something that I'm personally very keen interested in. And there are many audiences who are listening now, I can see who are watching this stream from non-Indian background. They are also keenly interested in Vaishnavism. So uh, if you kindly tell us a bit 
just briefly uh, how Sufism uh, connected, was connected to Vaishnavism and Vaishnavism uh, connected to Sufism or, or any commonalities between Sufism and Vaishnavism, which can be useful for some of our audiences today. It's been uh, one of my areas of interest for life. I have spent more time exploring sadhus and fakir uh, than on writing poetry. So if I start talking about it, I would stop. But briefly, Sufism and Vaishnavism is only one of the schools of bhakti in India. Vaishnavism, Vaishnavism Shaktism in Bengal, so on, and other kinds of uh, bhakti in Tamil Nadu. What is common to Shaivism and sorry, Bhakti and Sufism is the language of love, the language of the heart. It's not part of at least Bhakti is not part of any religion. It is the essence of all religions. And uh, there are people who say that Bhakti, Bhakti is devotion, but it means a lot more than that. This devotion is not God give me. Uh, today's bread kind of devotion. This devotion is the unconditional love of God. As Sufis talk about it. Uh, for example, there is a quote from Rumi uh, in one of his poems uh, 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 who is weeping for his beloved and the angel appears. You are weeping your eyes out when the beloved appears before you. Will you be able to see him? But he says, it's fine if my beloved, beloved appears to me Every hamper of my every one of my helpers will become a knight. This kind of passionate, single minded, unconditional, and non utilitarian love, which is common to Bhakti and Sufism, and uh, according to me, they developed independently, but they met in India, and uh, uh, in India, Bhakti developed around the uh, seventh uh, century the common era, around the same time when Sufism developed in uh, 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 Arabia, later in uh, Russia and so on. Uh, they were independent, but they were similar. But they met in India, a lot of Sufis came to India, and they influenced Bhaktas, and Bhaktas influenced Sufis. So we have same place like Guru Nanak and Kabir. It's difficult to say whether they are Bhaks or Sufis. They're both. For example, I come from Karnataka, and there's a great poet who is as great as Kabir, not so well known as Kabir, one Shishnal Sharif, who was both a Sufi and a Shaivite saint, because love transcends all religious and sectarian orders. So, so you know this Shabbat uh, uh, written by... Shabbat is the, the Punjabi, is Punjabi, the composition of six saints, are those somehow connected to Vaishnava philosophy or no, just, sir, just devotion? Shabbat is one of the genres of bhakti poetry. Right. Okay. In language, there are different genres of bhakti poetry. Hmm. In Kannada, they have Vachana, and uh, in Marathi, they have Abang and Ovi and uh, exactly. so on. In Bengali, there's this Paul is one of the expressions of Sufism. Hmm. Shabbat is the expression of Sikhism, Sikh bhakti. Wow. Right. And Sikhism was the, the confluence of Sufism, Vedanta, and uh, the Gorakhpanthiya Yoga School, mm -hmm. and that is Sikhism. The so Shabbat is the expression of uh, Shabbat means the word. Exactly. Hmm. So, uh, for example, Guru Nanak was a great poet. He wrote many Shabbats, and these Shabbats are sung in Gurdas. Uh, uh, it's part of the musical service in Gurdwaras to sure. sing the Shabbat. Thank you, Shivaji. Thank you. I, I look forward to having you as part of Bound and Vishwa Music Festival here in London someday. Many, many thanks for your insightful talk. And if you kindly read some more comments. Uh, this is is called a Greek love poem, which I wrote in Krita, Crete. 
these two descend into me like the blue sky into the blue earth beaten sea pass green from inside me like olive grows from barren rocky hills purify my breath like the scent of thyme cleansing the air once again said heraclitus heraclitus the great ayurvedic philosopher said heraclitus never again no man walks into the same river again i disagree all of us do into the same river for the sun sucks up the water and returns it to the same river through rain again again this is one point and it goes down the river what was the name of the book shivaji you are reading from this is a book called uh, what sees what shows is published by black eagle a uh, indian wow. publisher based in the us this this recent and uh, this one. buddha to angulimala you know angulimala was a Uh, wonderful bengali singer the anguli mala you mentioned no, anguli mala in buddhist oh anguli mala mm -hmm. uh, he was a kind of uh, uh, thief and murderer and mm -hmm. he was just, uh, he when he killed a uh, he murdered a person he would mm -hmm. cut off his uh, finger and he wore a garland of uh, uh, the fingers of the people he had uh, 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 murdered and Buddha converted Angulimala into a saint. That's how the story goes. And there are many Angulimalas in the world today. You can recognize them. How many more severed fingers do you want to go into your stinking necklace, O oh, Angulimala? What monstrous passion began to rage in your dark heart to choose? Instead of pearls, pearls and diamonds, severed human fingers, which were meant to grow crops, to play music, to write poems of love, touch and heal an ailing body, to offer worship, to paint, to sculpt, to shape beautiful images. No one has a soul, say noble ones, but who can think of humans without fingers and hands? When you cut fingers, you kill humans. When you kill a human, you kill another potential victim. Another chance to end sufferings. Another chance of nirvana. You pull the world. Which you also, which, which you are also part of, deeper and deeper into darkness and ignorance, to perpetuate the rule of Mara, the architect of suffering, for the living and the non-living. Wake up from this nightmare of Mara into the light of freedom and compassion. Throw away that stinking necklace. Cast away. Ancient darkness from your heart. How long will you go on wearing? How long will you go on wearing necklaces of severed fingers? This one poem, and uh, till now I haven't read any poem from my language because my poems are slightly long. I didn't want to waste your time, but I'll conclude with a song. I am also a poet. Yeah, and and I am not a singer, uh, but I write a lot of songs. I am just going to hum this song, 
And I remember I um, uh, recited this poem when I went to Dhaka in the, uh, in the year uh, 2000. And uh, there was one, there was, it used to be a festival of poetry called Kabi Konta, organized by Kabi Konta, an organization that was there. And I concluded uh, the, my reading with this poem. And, uh, next day, we the headlines about the poem. It's a lullaby. Um, I write different kinds of poems, and uh, uh, the, the, I've written a series of lullabies. This is taken from one of my poems, uh, plays, and uh, here, the mother is putting her daughter to sleep. So I can put this poem. First, I'll uh, uh, recite the uh, approximate English translation, because songs are difficult to translate. It's called lullaby. My daughter sleep like cloud on the lap of the sky. Sleep, my daughter sleep. Sleep, my daughter sleep like thunder in the heart of the cloud. Sleep, my daughter sleep. Sleep, my daughter sleep like volcano in the ocean's womb. Sleep. My daughter sleep. Sleep, my daughter sleep, like longings in the depths of a heart. Sleep, my daughter sleep. So I'll sing it. Now this is uh, written in a folk meter in which many lullabies uh, are often composed. Maladawa yawa. Malaga, 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 Just uh, I I missed actually which language was it actually what, what did you say I, I missed that right in Canada Canada uh, language which has one thousand five hundred years of literary history wow 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 second oldest language in South India and what a beautiful musical language great so I always describe myself as a Small poet from a great language. <laughs> <laughs> many, many thanks, Shivaji. Okay. I'm absolutely mesmerized uh, by the beauty of the language and the way uh, you you weave the tapestry uh, of the emotions through this language. Many, many thanks, Shivaji. We'll come back to you again. Um, Sanket actually sends something, perhaps. Uh, I will listen, definitely. Uh, oh, this is my title song. Uh, I will we'll definitely watch it. Uh, so Sanket, perhaps uh, Sanket knows Canadian language as well. Don't you? Right. Okay. We'll come back to you, Sanket. Our next poet is uh, Shakira. We are approaching uh, the, the final uh, turn. So we'll go 
uh, to the rest of the poets now. Uh, but in the meantime, Mithul, if you kindly uh, read some audience's feedback. Sure. Shomona Dashkupta Shubhetsa Shakulke, um, Arif Raja, um, H.S. Shiva Prakash, signature voice of Indian contemporary literature. Indeed, he is. Indeed, he is. No doubt about it. Then Krishnendu Pal, Achire Bhai, um, Arpa Roy Jodhuri, Ashugda, Kubshundor, Samit Ashfaq, Best of Luck, Ashuk Deb. Sankeji, your English translation of your poem is wonderful. Best of luck. Rosanna Kamarena, Ahmed, we understand there are problems in communication. Don't worry, we enjoy so much listening to you. Thank you for your lovely work. Thank you, Rosanna. Many thanks. Uh, uh, then, um, Junan Nashit. Shankiji, your poem recitation was really wonderful, enjoyed very much. Uh, Nishat Sharmin Shanta Aha Pratiti Brikhoi Ajjan Kobi, Shankiji. Shankiji, uh, that is such a, such a timely reflection of what uh, Shakira just uh, uh, was describing about her own way uh, into poetry. So many thanks. Uh, Mithul, would like to read more? Uh, there are uh, just a couple. Right, okay. um, Sh Shahid, guys, Obinodon Shakira, Tomar Kotha, Kobita, Shunam, Kubhalo Legate, Borabori Moto, Chamutkar, Session Hotte, Ayajok de Tanovad. Shahid Abdi Ganiki to Bolinikin, Shakira to the Chorjaputi Shurukolin, Chorjaputta Amade Tigna, Mani Chorja Amade Regdom, Mani Uitija, Uitija, Ugulo, Maniko Halgashundo. একদম মানে শুরুটাই নিয়ে আসলেন হঠাৎ করেই বাংলা সংগীতের বাংলা সাহিত্যের 1000 বছরের আগের ইতিহাস থেকে শুরু করলেন শাকিরা সংগীত নিয়ে কিছু বলেননি আর কিছু করতে যান মিতুল ঠিক আছে আমাদের সৌমনা দাশগুপ্ত দেখছেন মেনি থ্যাঙ্ক সৌমনা সৌমনা ইজ এ ওয়ান্ডারফুল পয় who I assumably, I assume, um, who is being featured as part of this series uh, very soon. Bonani Chakraborty is watching. Many thanks, a friend uh, and a wonderful poet from India. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for leaving these uh, beautiful feedbacks. Shakira Arkathe Dathi. Shakira, you can see that 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 you can see বোধ হয় ওই ধ্যান মগ্নতার ভিতরে কবিতাই দেখেন কবিতার ভিতরেই ডুবে থাকেন অনেক ধন্যবাদ আপনার কবিতায় ফিরে যেতে চাই আর যদি একটু মানে বিকজ দিস দিস ইজ আই মিন দিস ইজ কোয়াইট সিলি কোশ্চেন টু বি অনেস্ট ফর ওয়েন ইউ আস্ক টু স্পেশালি এ পোয়েট ওয়াই লাভ ইজ ইম্পর্ট্যান্ট ওর হাউ লাভ ইজ শেপিং ইওর পোয়েট্রি পারহ্যাপস because a, a title ta naam holo the 100 poets around the world for love ebong uh, especially the artist uh, mane shilpira uh, bhalobasha ke joto bhabe para jay joto rokomer thousand million different dimension theke bhalobasha ke abishkar koreche udbhavon koreche shilpira to shilpider kache bhalobasha kibhabe shape korche apnar works apnar poetry apnar literature apnar whatever you are doing uh, is kind of mane, asking a, a notion uh, to give you just a uh, small pot of water. So, Jodi, briefly, Bola Jai, Ek to Jodi Bolinen, and we'll, we'll, we'll move on to your poetry. Onik Hundabad, Prothomoto, Bhalavasha Bapata, Chotobala Tike Sheshko Junto, Amade Bosch Bada Shati Shate. জগৎ এবং জীবনের সাথে সম্পর্ক বাড়ার সঙ্গে সঙ্গে তার সংজ্ঞাটাও অনেক বেড়ে যেতে থাকে তো আমি যখন ছাত্রদেরকে পড়াই আমি তখন বলি কি যে দেখো প্রতিটা মানুষের সাথে প্রতিটা মানুষের সম্পর্কই একটা প্রেম প্রত্যেকটা মানুষের সঙ্গে এক ধরনের আলাদা আলাদা সম্পর্ক সেটা হচ্ছে প্রেম আর সেটা হচ্ছে ভাব যে ভাব সম্পদের কথা এই অঞ্চলের যারা বাউল সুফি কবি শিল্পীরা 
সারা জীবন ধরে বলে চলেছেন সেই ভাবের জগৎটাই হচ্ছে আসলে প্রেম আর সেই প্রেমটা হচ্ছে এত সরল এবং এত সুন্দর আবার একই অর্থে এত বৈশ্বিক যেটা অতুলনীয় এটা হচ্ছে এক ধরনের প্রেম শারীর বৃত্তীয় প্রেম সেটা শরীরের সম্পর্ক সেটা এক ধরনের প্রেম আর জড় বস্তুর সঙ্গে এবং প্রকৃতির সঙ্গে প্রেম প্রকৃতিকে ভালো লাগা সেটা আর একটা প্রেম আর একটা প্রেম হচ্ছে যে যখন মানুষ দেখতে শিখে চিনতে শিখে তখন একটা পিঁপড়ে হেঁটে গেলে ওটার মধ্যে একটা পিঁপড়ে পানি পার হয়ে যখন হেঁটে যাচ্ছে পানিটা পার হয়ে যখন ওর পিঁপড়ের পায়ে যে পানিটা লেগেছে সেই পানিটা যখন মেঝেতে অথবা কাপড়ে অথবা কাগজে হেঁটে গেছে সে ছায়াটা বা দাগটা রয়ে গেছে সেটার মধ্যে ও একটা প্রেম খুঁজে পায় একটা সুতো একটা মরা কাঠ একটা মরা গাছ একটা পাথর এই সবকিছুর মধ্যে ও এমন এক সৌন্দর্য আবিষ্কার করে এক টুকরো রং হ্যাঁ যেই লাকড়িটা দিয়ে আমি রান্না করি বিশ বছর ধরে কত গরম ও সহ্য করে কত আজও সয়ে নেয় আমাকে গরমটা সইতে দেয় না সেটাও একটা অদ্ভুত প্রেম ফলে প্রেমের সংজ্ঞাটা এত ভার্সেটাইল আমি অত্যন্ত ক্ষুদ্র মানুষ তুচ্ছ মানুষ আমি আমার মতো করে এইটুকুই বললাম আর সমস্ত যে মায়া পৃথিবীর জন্য এই যে করোনা কালে মহামারী কালে মৃত্যুর জন্য মাহাত্মা যে কবিতা পড়লেন যে হুইসেল বেজে যায় মৃতের জন্য যে হুইসেল বেজে যায় যে কফিনের সাদা লাশ চলে যায় সেটা কি বলেন তো আসলে তাকে তো আপনি চেনেন না ইটালি থেকে মরে যাচ্ছে মহারাষ্ট্রে কার মৃত্যু হচ্ছে অথবা ইংল্যান্ডের বরফে কার জীবন কাটা পড়ছে সে তো আপনি আমি জানি না কিন্তু তার জন্য আপনার কেন কষ্ট হয় তাই না সেটাও কিন্তু একটা প্রেম ফলে আমাদের যে এই যে জীবন এই যে নশ্বর জীবন এই জীবনে পুরোটাই আসলে অনুভব মানে পুরো অস্তিত্বটাই আসলে প্রেমময় কিন্তু এক এক রকম করে বুঝে নেয়ার পালা অনেক ধন্যবাদ কবিতা পড়ছি আমি বোধ হয় খুব বেশি সময় নেই আর আমি এবারে আমি জাস্ট দুটো কবিতা পড়ছি ইংরেজিতে ট্রান্সলেশন করেছেন এই কবিতাটা সৈয়দ মঞ্জুরুল ইসলাম প্রফেসর সৈয়দ মঞ্জুরুল ইসলাম কবিতাটির নাম হচ্ছে স্পেশাল দিস পোয়েম ইজ ডেডিকেটেড টু অল দা স্পেশাল চাইল্ড ইন দা ওয়ার্ল্ড এন্ড देयर पेरेंट्स एंड देयर फैमिलीज एंड देयर टीचर्स স্পেশাল এন্ড দেন দে গেভ মি এ নেম special child they think i am special a unique baby my mom weeps i love dad's on the roof watering plants and his eyes mom thought she would take her own life that thought of remaining new flowers will bloom we we'll eat street food in the afternoon and i will read the difficult words spelled on the palm stone i can speak but i don't my aunt's harmonium let them take out the rigs i will fix the bicycle and re- ride it i will ride the rains on the street where the traffic is away on leave i will ride sunshine and wind and drove a boat mom thought i paint dad i'd write uncle i'd sing grandpa i'd tear things up i do tear things up time and politics দ্বিতীয় কবিতা মানে পরের কবিতা আমি বুঝতে পারছি না আমি তো আর একটা কবিতা পড়তে পারবো নিউ মুন ইন দা স্টেয়ার কেস Pardon, I'm very weak in English, uh, I, I have said earlier. 
আমার পড়া খুব বাজে আমাকে ক্ষমা করবেন নিউ মুন ইন দা স্টেয়ারকেস এট 12 ও ক্লক দা ডটার ইন লা ওয়াজ সিন টু ওপেন দা গেস্ট লক এন্ড টু স্টল অ্যালোন অন দা ওপেন স্পট দিস লিগ রেট বাই দা জাসেন্ট হাউজেস গেটকিপার created sensations among those who lived nearby the smells creeper beside the house has engulfed the sky even after a year long try the daughter in law wasn't able to see the moon flight tonight the landlord is sleeping deeply and the daughter in law courageously has made the moon to herself possible to see and by that chance she was noticed by me now though her heart is supposed to glitter with full moon light instead she is eclipsed by the dark moons at the state of light and then after the daughter in law never came back to home but in luster of the moon uh, and the last poem is only two line um, the name of my poem is waiting made the clock upside down every day i do wait for you could you please call dali thank you very much and um, if i got uh, 30 seconds i just want to uh, sing from lalon because i always love to say that ami laloner desher manush i feel proud of that and i am son i am a daughter of tagur and lalon al shabdul karim so eta ekta world platform ebong shekhane amar lalon theke jodi ami du line ebong tini o giti kobi so if you permit me 30 seconds please do please go on সহজ মানুষ দিব্য জ্ঞানে সহজ মানুষ দেখনা দিব্য জ্ঞানে কাবিরে সহজ মানুষ দেখনার দিব্য জ্ঞানে সহজ মানুষ হবার জন্য চেষ্টা করি অনেক ধন্যবাদ we are actually approaching to the end our next poet is shankar mahatra um wow what a beautiful evening this has turned out to be and wow thank you shiva sir thank you shakira ma'am this has just been beautiful just listening to you people uh i know you you were expecting me to sing uh, and that's precisely why i sent the link to my title song if if you would want to play that uh but this last poem is dedicated to all of you to all the poets um uh, so obviously it's in marathi i will read the marathi first followed by its translation uh it's a fairly short poem uh but the whole message the whole context of this poem is a fact that uh, there's always a place for you and me uh, for every poet uh, and that's exactly where i want to meet uh all of you again so uh, i'll recite this poem and then uh, its translation tithe bhetu ya mitra tujha matha ji hirvi jaga ugavli ahe tithe bhetu ya mitra jithe ajunahi shakespeare shevat sa ankal hitoch ahe jithe tukoba kirtanat magna ahe जिथे मोने अपनी फुला बाग सजावत जिथे सूर्य तो मोजाट सा अनपेक्षित लाटे सारखा 
जिथे न्यूटन झाडाखाली बसलाय आकाशाकडे टक लावून तिथे भेटूया मित्रा जिथे तुझ्या माझ्यातली आदिम खून सापडेल जिथे आपल्या दोघांमधल्या जाणीवा तरारून येतील यज्ञासारख्या जिथे बालपणातली हरवलेली हिरवी पानं सापडतील जिथल्या ढगांना आपण दिलेला आकार असेल तिथे भेटूया मित्रा तिथे भेटूया मित्रा जिथल्या झाडांच्या देठांना पुस्तकांची पालवी फुटेल जिथे तू हसल्यावर अक्षरच पडतील पानगळी सारखी आणि भिजवतील आपला सारा देह आपल्याच ओल्या चिंब झालेल्या अर्थांनी जिथे तुला मला इंद्रधनुष्य वाटून घेता येईल तिथे भेटूया मित्रा तिथे भेटूया मित्रा जिथे आपल्याला शोधत येतील आपल्यासारखे कुणीतरी जिथे आपल्या भेटीची खूण म्हणून एक काजवा चमकत राहील झाडात ह्या आणि पुढच्या जन्माआधी येणारे जे ठिकाण आहे तिथे भेटूया मित्रा तिथे भेटूया मित्रा द ट्रान्सलेशन फॉर दिस इज ऍज फॉलोज व्हॅल हाला the greenest glade growing with, with, with within you and me let's meet there my friend the greenest glade growing within you and me let's meet there my friend where shakespeare is yet writing his last quarto tukaram immersed in his abhangs mone dressed dabbing his tulip garden and waves of mozart symphony come crashing as newton sits under tree canopy pondering yet the mesmeric sky for the gravity of apple let's meet there my friend where within you and me we discover our abyssal indigenous marks our consciousness overflowing like the purest fires where the lost mint leaves of childhood are found and clouds take to the shapes we carved for them let's meet there my friend where the bark of trees sprout leaves of books and over your laughter letters fall like petioles drenching our whole bodies with our dew sort lines of meaning as you and me anatomize a portion the rainbow let's meet there my friend where kinder others come searching for us and a motif to our assemblage a firefly burnishes through the trees after this and before the next lifetime the landmarks and way posts we should reach let's meet there my friend thank you many many thanks okay <laughs> beautiful the <laughs> last poet is oshok dev it is a wonderful wonderful evening today i missed the first part apni janen na apni janen na shurur dike to miss korechen shurur dike koto kichu miss korlen ha eta ami pore dekhe nebo miss korbo thik ami ebar porchi prothome banglay porbo tarpor ek ek english e porbo kemon the sculpture is itself is within the within the stone michelangelo once say that that is there i just chisel it out from that shilpo ekjon bhaskor tar pathorer kache ashe pathor tar bhitorer obhoyob khule dhore ratri gobhir hoy cheni haturi ar nishshasher shobdo hoy sara rat sokale ghor theke dujon bhaskorjo i am uh, going to read it, read it english the making the the uh, translation uh, shukla sinha my uh, shukla sinha did this uh, translation for me the making shilpo a sculpture comes to see his stone the stone bears its inside to him night deepens the sound of steel hammer and dread leap through the night to sculptures work out of the house in the next morning ek ebar arekta porchi shomoy ache to ekdom ekdom e amader shohorer je rastay ghate amra dekhi je kichu lok ghure beray tader tara কোন কারণে তাদের মস্তিষ্কের 
चूले जटा देखा दे चोखे दृष्टि निझुम हो पड़े विकेल बल्ला माज रास्त बस गान गाय पूजार फूल भलोबासा शर धुलुनी देखते जमा कि चा दुकान से गान शेष हम अफिस पड़ा छुट्टी घोषित है से तक पार्क रेलिंग ठेस दिए पुरान बीड़ी धरा तर पायर मुद्रा एम आराम पर फेटा कैरानी बड़ ईर्षा है एदिक दिए जो कख देखें एक जटावला ऐले जार माथाय भार और साम्य नहीं केवल शहरे बसंत आसार आगे अनुमति लागे स्ट्रीट्स He now sings an afternoon song. Love is my offering to you. Young boys from the nearby tea stall come to see his body sway. When the music is over, the halla bolo in the office para dies down. He then leans over the railing of the park and lights a bidi. His nonchalance becomes the envy of the world. If you happen to pass by. you will see there is only one man with twisted looks of hair locks of hair without presumptions and ill will spring arrives in this city only at his will ar porbo ha please please arekta ho mane ei kobita gulo hole to thamte bola tai ekta acha thank you ekta chhota 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 खुब भलो लगलो आज के प्रथम दिखा देखे नब टन बीछान शुएद्रा मजखने एक फाली जागरण रक्त आलो हिसाब से संसारे एक प्रकार कनकने कान्ना पाचार कर टेंशन को भी तटर इंग्लिशी टा पूरी दिच्छी। बाँ। करा। ठेके ओ टेंशन टा बात दिए ओ नाम दिए चे इंसोमनिया। खूब सुंदर नाम। एकदम। दे ऑन साइड ऑफ बेड। डेथ ऑन द अदर साइड। इंसोमनिया लीव्स इन बिटवीन। इट टेक्स ऑल नाइट टू रीच द अदर एंड। कम
অশোক আমরা আপনার আসলে কি পরিমাণ হিপনোটিক ছিল শ্বাস রুদ্ধকর এইসব পঙ্ক্তিমালা শুনে বাড়ি ফেরার পথ ভুলে যাবার কথা যারা রাস্তায় শুনছে অন্য কারো বাড়িতে চলে যাবার কথা এটা সত্যি একদম মন থেকে বলছি আমরা আসলে একদম শুরুর দিকে আপনার কথাও শুনতে চাইছিলাম কোন এক রক্ত উন্মাদ এক মুহূর্তে আপনি জেনে গেলেন যে কবিতায় আপনার আরাধ্য হবে কবিতা ছাড়া শ্বাস ফেলা যাবে না এবং এই যে সাড়ো এই যে ছায়ার গল্পগুলো করলেন একটা আলো আধারি এবং জীবন সত্য এবং মিথ্যা একটা ভেরি ফিলসফিক্যালি এক্সুবার ইন লাইন Shakira perhaps can relate. Goddard, uh, one of my favorite filmmakers, contemporary filmmakers in the world. Shottuniye taar besh ki chaita, aami ashle bolte chaili, ekhon mwani hoche jeta unek dikho hoi jabe. Shottu, ekhon ehi kotha gulo bol chile na, I was relating to the interpretation that Goddard was talking in relation to the truth. Ebon aapnaar ehi kotha gulo diye hi aamra ashle ekhani kotha hoi jyoti ta tana uchi. কারণ এটা কনস্টেন্টলি এমন একটা ঘোর এবং এমন একটা বিভুর মুহূর্তের দিকে আপনারা ছুঁড়ে দিচ্ছেন মানে ঘুমানোটাই আপনি ইনসমনিয়া বলছেন আসলে এটা ইনসমনিয়া আক্রান্ত হবার কথা ইনসমনিয়া আক্রান্ত করে ফেলছেন আমি জানি না রাত্রে কতটা ঘুম হবে তো সুতরাং ম্যানি ম্যানি থ্যাংকস টু অল অফ ইউ লেট আস হ্যাভ দি ফাইনাল ইনপুট ফ্রম দানি জেলা দানি জেলা আই এম নট শো ওয়েদ ইউ আর হিয়ারিং Well, before we, um, because of this, we approach to the final moment now. So if you'd like to add your final or concluding note, please do. Otherwise, we have to move on to Shivaji. Shivaji, if you kindly add your concluding note. Uh, Danijala is still hearing, but I'm sure he will come back perhaps. She will come, come back perhaps after three or four minutes. There is a, some gaps uh, for her to listen because she's following live streaming. Before we, finish, before we finish, if you'd like to add any concluding note, Shivaji. Um, thank you very much. It's been a wonderful evening. Uh, Shakira is just singing and doing your poem and uh, uh, Matri's uh, poem. I think it's been wonderful. And your anchoring has also been very inspiring. Thank you very much. And uh, I consider myself I consider this a great privilege to be in this uh, wonderful company. Uh, I don't want to add anything more, but because Shakira Ji concluded with a song by Lalan, I would like to conclude with a song by a Sufi Bhakt poet, a short one from Karnataka, Shishnal Sharif Saab. It's about a pot. Uh, it says, what kind of pot is this? It's not made of gold or silver, it's shining. Nobody has rubbed or washed it, it's glowing. And it's a pot which is made in this wonderful town of Hubli. It's a Hubli make. It's a pot that three sisters carried into the marketplace, but it fell down and broke into pieces. It's the pot in which three sisters were um, uh, playing dice, but it's a pot which broke on the way back home. And what kind of pot is this? And this is the pot with the Lord of Shishnoy made with his own hands. What it means, you wise ones, you tell me. So there's a song about the pot, very famous song. <coughs> Yen koda yen koda va, upalli mata, yen ta chandrula koda va, aha yen ta chandrula koda va, tikila tora dilla, tarataya hori tada, tikila tora dilla, tarataya hori tada, chindala panchendala, mira mira nicho tada, yen yen koda va. Upalli mata yanta chandula koduva Mool vandhi akatangeru olaadi da koda Aar vandhi akatangeru olaadi da koda Yen koda yen koda va Upalli mata 
ಎಂತ ಚಂದುಳ್ಳ ಕೊಡವ ಆಹಾ ಎಂತ ಚಂದುಳ್ಳ ಕೊಡವ ಶಿಶು ನಾರಧೀಶನು ದೇವ ಶಿಶು ನಾರಧೀಶನು ಶಿಶು ನಾರಧೀಶನು ತಿದ್ದಿ ಮಾಡಿದ ಕೊಡ ಶಿಶು ನಾರಧೀಶನು ತಿದ್ದಿ ಮಾಡಿದ ಕೊಡ ಬುದ್ಧಿವಂತರ ನೀವ ತಿಳಿದಿ ಕೊಡ ಏನ್ ಕೊಡ ಏನ್ ಕೊಡವ ಬಳ್ಳಿ ಮಾಟ ಎಂಥ ಚಂದುಳ್ಳ ಕೊಡವ ಎಂಥ ಚಂದುಳ್ಳ ಕೊಡವ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಶಿವಾಜಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಶಕೀರ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲಂಡನ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ಸೆಂಚುರೀಸ್ Bengali mystic poet uh, Tagore himself was hugely inspired by him a big generation for Jalan Gis uh, was hugely, hugely inspired by his uh, uh, mystic poetry and then I'm sure uh, the verse if I could translate this for the Bengali audience is so beautifully uh, said I'm sure some of you perhaps are familiar with William Hogarth's uh, analysis of beauty where it says the major still he was analyzing the six principles of beauty and one among them is simplicity so anything beautiful is has to be simple yes. and a search for simple human being is actually a search for ultimate truth a very philosophically exuberant song that uh, shakira I uh, was singing so many many thanks shakira uh, for coating and and singing from a uh, great lalan that i'm hugely admired of i i class myself as the spiritual disciple of lalan actually so many thanks shakira if you'd like to add something as your concluding note uh, uh concluding bolte shesh bole to kichu nei ei je aajke apnader shonge je songjog ta holo এই যে প্রেম শুরু হলো এটা তো শুরু ঠিক তো এবং এই শুরুটা আপনি গদারের গদারের মতো বলতে পারেন গদারের সিনেমা যেভাবে শেষ হয় এ নিউ বিগিনিং বলে ঠিক না শেষ হয় একটা নিউ বিগিনিং হ্যাঁ তো সেই তো সেই সেই আজকে তো সেই আজকে নতুন করে পাঁচ ছজন অশোকদার সঙ্গে 3.5 বছর পরে ভার্চুয়ালি দেখা হলো হ্যাঁ তার কথা আমি লিখেছি আজকে ফেসবুকে যে 3.5 বছর আগে কেমন করে এক মুহূর্তের জন্য পরিচয় হয়েছিল এবং সে এক মুহূর্তেই কেমন করে তিনি মনের মানুষ হয়ে গেলেন সেটা আমি বলেছি হ্যাঁ যে আমি একটা বিচারক যাই হোক সেই গল্প দরকার নেই আর শিবাজি বিশেষত মানে আমি খুব ভয়ে ছিলাম যে এত বড় মানুষ আমাদের সঙ্গে আসবেন তার সামনে কি কবিতা পড়ব কি বলবো হ্যাঁ এটা নিয়ে আমি খুব ভয়ে ছিলাম আপনাকে অনেক শ্রদ্ধা জানাচ্ছি সালাম জানাচ্ছি এবং সবার সঙ্গে যে এত সুন্দর একটা সংযোগ হলো এই যে নতুন করে যে প্রেম শুরু হলো সেই সবাই যেন আমরা সেই প্রেমের শক্তিটাকে আরো বেশি করে বাড়াতে পারি এবং এই সংযোগ এই কবিতার সংযোগ সুরের সংযোগ মানুষের সাথে মানুষের সংযোগ যত বেশি করে বাড়ানো যাবে পৃথিবীর অসভ্য সভ্যতাটাকে পৃথিবীর অসভ্য যে সভ্যতা তত বেশি অনেক কৃতজ্ঞতা আহমেদ কায়সার আপনাকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ শামিম শাহান ভাই আমাদেরকে সহযোগিতা করছেন ছোট আপু সবাইকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ এবং যারা এই অনুষ্ঠান দেখছেন সবার প্রতি অশেষ অশেষ কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাচ্ছি ভালোবাসা জানাচ্ছি প্রেম জানাচ্ছি থ্যাংক ইউ শাকিরা দানি জেলা কেন ইউ হিয়ার মি ইফ ইউ ডু 
kindly add your final concluding note. Danijela will perhaps listen after one minute because this is uh, she's following uh, she's following the live streaming. Hello, Danijela. If you kindly add your concluding note. Thank you, Shakira. Can you hear me? If you do, kindly add your final concluding note. Danijela will perhaps listen after one minute. Please. Hello, Danijela. Ahmed. Ahmed, yeah. I, I can hear you on my mobile only. Not on my laptop. Right, best, uh, Danijela, uh, we, we need to move on to someone else now. Oshok Deb, if you kindly add your concluding note. You're muted at this moment, if you kindly unmute. Onik Dhunnubad, Shawai ke, jara itar ayajun kuri chen, jara shun chen, jara ikhane angshugrohan kuri chen, tara, সম্ভব অসম্ভব ব্যক্তি সুন্দর ভালো সন্ধ্যা কাটলো একটা সময়ে বলা হয়েছিল যে কি করে কবিতা আমার কাছে এলো তো যারা আমার ভাষা বুঝতে পারছেন না তাদের জন্য বলি ইট ওয়াজ ওয়ান্ডারফুল ইভিনিং এন্ড ইট ওয়াজ ভেরি মাচ এনচেন্টিং টু বি উইথ ইউ ইন দিস ইভিনিং এন্ড আই ওয়াজ এনরিচড বাই অল অফ ইউ প্রেজেন্স না আই ওয়াজ আস্কড I, I, I was intended to ask to be asked what is poetry uh, to me. So here is a poem in Bengali, Kobita. Tini Amar, Amar Mrittur Dike Rattiyo, Amar Mrittur. Shokalei tai shashkoshto shuru hoye jai, Amar shashkoshto. Shokalei tai shabodeho hoye jai, Amar shabodeho. Sharadin bohan kore, rate shangshare chitai eshe shui. আমার চিতায় তিনি তখন কুশল জানতে আসেন তার কুশল ধন্যবাদ নমস্কার for making me a part of this beautiful lineup of poets. Uh, today, I think for the first time, uh, I, I, heard, uh, I heard music become a part, uh, a very important part of poetry recitation. And I'm very glad because also in Marathi poetry and in our tradition of Marathi poetry, there's a lot, uh, a lot of poets, uh, a lot of poems are sung uh, and you know, they are rendered. They're not just recited, but they are sung by poets. Uh, and I'm extremely glad uh, that that somebody as senior as Mr. Shiva or somebody as illustrious as uh, Shakira Ma'am uh, actually sang their poems uh, as well. Uh, and we we all came to know at the end of it what what kind of impact do does music make uh, when it is combined with words. So I'm extremely glad that I became a part of this absolutely unique uh, poetry recitation session. Uh, I'm extremely happy that today, once again, all the languages came together uh, and represented unity because I think this is going to be a very important milestone uh, from here onwards where poets come together to make sure that our society stays absolutely sane in times like these. 
so i am extremely happy uh, that all these poets wonderful people have come together for this beautiful gathering thank you so much thank you so much to make me a part of this thank you thank you thank you shankar well this this must turn out to be a uh, music like ruby said in one point all silences are music so the silence between two adjacent words that that you weaved as a poet became the part of music so let us go home uh, with that music that is being resonated in each silence between two adjacent words so um, uh mito let me kindly add you concluding note please before i read my concluding note i'd like to read one last comment if you allow me to please do yeah joel mazhar has written it's great to have all the poets who have gathered here under the wide canopy of poetry and love during the time of covid love reigns supreme of all and bind uh, binds us all despite our differences in languages and culture here lies the unity in diversity for we share the same sky same sun in the blue lovely planet many thanks joel macha a, a very powerful poet uh, and a translator who has been featured as part of this series uh, before many thanks for your wonderful feedback wonderful comment uh, would like to read any more any more comment um there there are there is um one which says a bulbo kobita bangla bhashar mithe sugandho ta ki bhashantore alorito korbe onnoder indriyo ke ashok dev mane shabdo ghor shara hoto shabdo bane ba jewel mas her good poem by ashok um then the poem thank you all are too hypnotic shiva prakash ji you are just awesome there are many other comments which i have lost in the live stream right okay sorry yeah. sorry we couldn't perhaps read uh, these comments but many thanks for your suggestion many thanks for your uh, inspiring comment shamim chan if you can let your ending speech uh, thank you kaisa many thank poet shankar mitra poet ashok dev poet hs shiva prakash ji poet shakira parbin and poet daniela tazkabik for joining granti initiative 100 poets around the world for love many thanks for your wonderful contribution you will be delighted to know that the granti has decided to publish a book with the poem that are being read and it will be read here as part of the series along with a brief bio on each poet the title of the book will remaining as same as the name of the series which i believe will serve as diary for all writer friends around the world see you again next week thank you thank you many many thanks shamshan this is hard now to finish after listening so many hypnotic verses of poetry and such an insightful talk thanks to all of you for your beautiful you. wonderful contribution to this sessions a huge and immense gratitude to all of you uh, for your contributions danijala thank you thank you shivaji many thanks ashok shahin shamim shahan sankar and shakira many many thanks for your contribution and would like to see on the audiences many thanks for your um, yeah. support beautiful comment that always inspired us to do more and more so see you in the next week on saturday at 4 pm uk time thank you see you soon again have a wonderful rest of the evening thank you